Hey everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and I set Calvin's tank up about a month ago. So I'm gonna go over there and I'm sure there's some evaporation. I'm Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and today I brought Calvin some items. Hello. This is Calvin, and if you remember, uh, we just set up a tank from a couple weeks ago. If not, I'll put a, put a link up above so you can see that video. But he told me his crayfish died. So Rest Susie went out and got two little crayfish for him and a glass cleaner. And today I'm going to show him how to clean his glass and how to acclimate fish. Are you ready, Calvin? Yep. So why don't you get up on your little stool? The first thing I saw when I got here, see how low the water is? Yeah. That's because we didn't get you a lid. If we get you a lid, it'll only go lower slower. So we're going to work on that. Yeah. But the first thing we're going to do is feel the temperature in this water. See how it's different than this water? Yeah. We're going to let this sit in here until it's the same. That way, you know what it's like jumping in a swimming pool, freezing yeah. cold? You're like, ah! <laughs> we're going to try to stop that. Yeah. This is a magnet cleaner. Feel this side. It's nice and soft. What's this side? Doesn't feel nice. Scrunchy. You know why? Because this is going to scrape all that brown algae off your tank. And I'm going to show you how to use it super slow. Mm -hmm. Now, just move it around slow. You can grab it. Yep. So now, what I would suggest is you just clean off the front part of your glass so you can see. And maybe this one because this is where people walk in your room. But if the other side gets a little bit of brown algae, you can leave it because the fish like to nibble on it. So we don't have a siphon for Calvin's tank yet, but what his mom did have is letting us use fish only is a baster. So I'm going to show him how to scoop up the detritus from the bottom and put it in here. So do you remember what detri detritus is? No, I have no idea. Let me tell you. It's poop. <laughs> is fish poop. fish poop and on the bottom here not really floating but on the bottom is fish poop so I'm gonna squeeze this go to the bottom and see if there's any fish poop that come. oh see that see how it's getting fish poop in this this is how we're gonna do it until Susie gets you a siphon we'll just spot clean up some fish poop but you got to keep it nice and clean. But I don't know how the fish poop looks, though. It pretty much looks the same as, as everything else that's in there on the bottom. So if I come on the bottom and just hover it right on top, see how I'm not touching? And let it suck up. Got some gravel, got some fish poop, got a little bit of both. Okay? And then what we'll do is we'll get water ready, and I'll show you how to add water without hurting your fish. Cause you know what, what, oh, look at that. Look what we got, we got a dead leaf. See that? Yeah. That would just add some negativity to your tank. You don't need dead leaf lying around. No, we don't. So if you add water right out of your tap, right out of your sink, do you know what would happen? Huh. There would be chlorines and, and other chemicals in there that might hurt your fish. Yeah. Good for you. It makes it so that you can drink your water, not so much for the fish. So once we're done cleaning this out, see how I'm sucking up? There's just like, it's almost like vacuuming. You see your mom vacuuming? Yeah. She doesn't really see anything on the floor, but she vacuums anyway. Yeah. That's pretty much what we're doing. Like this. I'm going to try over here. This is how it's like. So you tell me, how do you like your tank? I love it. I so you said you were going to make something out of Legos for your tank. Did you make anything? What did you make out of Legos for your tank? There's an alligator somewhere. An alligator? Why don't you go get it for me? And then we can put the alligator in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So now, because this is plastic and we're not gluing it, it's probably going to float. But that's okay because alligators float. Kind of go on the top. There you go. You got an alligator in your tank. Nice addition. Yes. And so you and still have your four red-tailed Dalmatian platies. Mm -hmm. You have your paradise fish because yep. it's paradise. And that guy who hides everywhere. The sucker fish is who he's talking about. Oh, where is that? He's over here. That would be an autosynclus. We just call him Otto. He eats a lot of algae too, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, he does hide. He does hide. And now we got two crayfish. Yay! Because I knew that would make you happy. I love crayfish. They do. They do some of the cleaning cleaning job. They do. I bet. So do you have any questions about your tank? Do you like it? Do you want something changed? You talk to me. The water has, the water. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you how to put water in here, yes. fix it so you can put it in here. But you have to fix it before you put it in there. Cause it's like, do you ever go in a, in a swimming pool and your eyes burn? Oh, I, I never open my eyes in there. Because it burns, right? Oh. That's what's in our drinking water. So if we put that right in the tank, their eyes are going to burn, their skin's going to burn, their gills are going to burn. We don't want to do that. No, we won't, don't want them to burn. So we got to fix the water, then we can put it in. Yeah, so we're taking the water out? I just took some out. We take a little out, and we put no new one in. You know what that's called? Hmm. A water change. <gasps> water change! Because it evaporated. Do you know what evaporator means? Yes, it means goes up and turns into gas and then comes back down. As? But I, as water. Did it come back down? Is it raining in your bedroom? No. Maybe it's coming down as humidity and you don't see it. It's just moist air. All right, what do we do now? We just filled this up with tap water. Do you remember what would happen if we pour this in there? They would burn. They will. Burn. This is called water conditioner. Water conditioner. We're going to put a little bit of this in here. Yeah. And it's going to take out the chlorines and chloramines. So then it will make it fish safe. Yeah. So uh, this says to use one of these for this whole thing. So how much do you think we'd use for this? Like half. Like not half. A little half. bit. Yeah. Just a teeny bit. Yep. Why do we just have to put like this just in there? Just like that. Yes. We I'm do. gonna pour this in because this is pretty heavy. Yes. So it has um, stuff, so it's safe. Now it's safe for the fish. Yeah. If I pour it in super fast. Yes. Yeah. It it's gonna come down, hit this, and it's just gonna be a big mess. And it's gonna explode. It isn't. Yes. It? So I like to pour it in on that purple thing if you were done playing with it. All right. So that's the lid to this. See how it's double duty? Yes. We'll put this in here. Yes. Then the water oh, will hit this yeah. and stop the impact. I remember this from the, the from, from the when tent. we filled up the tank. Exactly. I remember from part one, they call it. Exactly, part one when we created your tank. Now we're gonna wait a few minutes and I'm gonna show you how to test your water. So how do you test this water? You have your mom help get this out. And the main reason is you don't want to get this wet before you're ready. So hey. this has to stay perfectly dry. Yes. See that? Mm -hmm. And we're going to use that as, do you know what a legend is on a map? Nope. It's a key that tells you what all the colors mean. We're going to hold this end. See how there's no square there? Mm -hmm. and we're going to dip it in, pull it out, yes. and wait. This is going to tell us all different things about your water in here. This, these two down here tells you whether or not you need to change the water. If this starts turning pink like this, yes. oh, danger. If this one starts turning pink, danger. look at how great they look. So if it's pink, what do I do? You ask your mom and tell your mom you need a water change. The plants are helping you keep that white. That's why we put lots and lots of plants in there to help you keep it clean. So I want some more plants. I Always want more plants. But guess what? The plants are going to propagate on their own. They're going to make more of themselves. Good. We want these crayfish in your tank, don't we? Yes, we do. But guess what we don't want? What? The store water. We don't want that in your tank because you don't know. We tested your water. It's beautiful. What if that water's full of poison? Do we want that in your tank? No, so we're not dumping it in. We're going to dump it through here with our net and catch the crayfish. <gasps> oh, Do you want to help me? Yes, please. All right. I have so why don't you hold this very still? You might have to put down your shark. We don't want sharks eating crayfish. He won't eat anybody, don't worry. So put it over here because I'm going to pour the water in. Hold it nice and steady. You ready? Mm -hmm. Don't let the crayfish fall. So hold it real good, strong like knuckles. Very good. We have good. two crayfish in there. One, two. 
Let's dump them in. I'm gonna put them in. Move the frog bit a little. Move your alligator. <gasps> and now, see how I'm not letting them out? Yeah. They, I'm gonna let them swim out on their own. Oh, one. That way, if they're caught, they can uncatch themselves. Oh, look, they're coming out already. <gasps> you know these like mollies? I think they're called. Those are platies. The platies? Yeah. They like this moss thing. Oh, I know. You know why? Because the moss catches little bits of food, so they get to pick at it all the time. Yeah, and they go under it all the time. So I'm just going to remove Mario this. and Luigi, you say? Yeah. So let's say you saw all your fish at the top doing this. Yeah. That means, more than likely, these last two are pink and you, you just didn't even use your stick. And it's time to tell your mom to do a water change. So water change every week? I would do this much water change every week, yes. So I'm not too worried about his mom doing water changes as she's my BFF. So we're good with that. Well, I have a YouTube channel too. Tell them what it's called. Dolphin Craft and Don't... Dolphin Craft. Oh, my name is Calvin. And, and today I'm going to be telling you about my youtube channel number one i do lots of gaming videos don't forget to check it out well guys i hope you check out my youtube channel thanks for joining bye